Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the beginning of a new campaign in the latest Hoi 4 DLC called La Resistance. So, as you can tell from the thumbnail and perhaps the title, we're playing as a certain nation. We're going to play it historical, with historical focuses on, just because I'm not really used to vanilla. I play a lot of Old World Blues and other mods, but vanilla, not too much. So, I'm going to let you share with you that everything is going to be pretty normal because well, let's, let's see what happens with Spain. Spain, fun place, gets into the action fairly early on, but I want to see if we can <clears throat> remove some rulers, we'll say. But anyways, let's go and choose our national focus. So, we can do Great Spain or the Popular Front. The danger posed by fascism and religious superstitions to our personal liberties is paramount and we must establish a broad front of political parties that are united in their opposition to the political right. Only if we band together will we be able to halt their advance and save our republic. If we really want to do that, which we probably do. Probably. Let's go and get some more of that and some more guns. That'd be good. We have three research slots. Um, we're going to do the basic stuff. Industry and engineering stuff first, like always. I will build... <clears throat> So, so something in Catalonia, 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 something like that, maybe, perhaps. You never know where the best place might be to build stuff up. You never know. So just for funsies, we're just going to say we're going to build stuff in that region. Let's see. Do we have any generals? Mohammed, he's a nationalist. Up in Vincent, he's very aggressive, and we probably don't want Francisco Franco leading. And something tells me. He's probably not going to be a good choice. Neither is Emilio, because he has nationalist sympathy, so no leader. Next up, we have some ships, in which... Yeah, just... Let's let time go on as fast as possible. I don't really care. There are everyone right there for now. Everyone's almost here. That's good. And... Let's create a new task force. Take off all subs, because, well, subbies are subbies. Split you guys in half, and boom. We're done with our navy, pretty much. For now, you know what? Go ahead and train them. We will be led by not nationalist Luis Carrero Blanco. How about Craven Miguel? Craven Miguel. Repair when needed. And destroy my fuel reserves. Do we have any planes? Kind of, sort of, yeah. Um, do that. Get rid of that. But we'll come back to Madrid and make a good old thing of 50? Now, one cool thing about the new Husky update, or La Resistance DLC, is that when you train, you can... I saw this when I was watching Feedback Gaming. You can hold shift and click to enable pilot exercises until the air wing is fully trained. So that's actually really cool. You don't have to waste planes. But we have the popular front. So, right now we could do secure the Guardia de Az Alto or secure the Guardia Civil. So if we do the one on the right, the Civil, the civil one, we can get 10 poor infantry divisions or we can get 5, and the Nationals will get 5 relatively okay-ish infantry divisions or we do the Guard, which I'm going to do, because then we get... Five, six infantry battalion divisions versus what the nationalists will get, in which they will get ten, three battalion, three infantry battalion divisions. So, the polarization of society is increasing, and violence along with it. We must ensure the loyalty of the assault guards, our well-trained heavy police reserve. They will be invaluable if violence continues to escalate. So right now, what we got to know, especially with Spain here. Is that things are not looking very good. And actually, I'm going to keep you guys uh, all right there for now. Because mm, that might be a really important place to be. Anyways, uh, train some planes. That'll be okay. Uh, there we go. The Spanish election. Now this is where things get really interesting. Despite a massive election campaign by the Spanish Confederation of Autonomous Rights, it is the left-wing popular front formed by the Spanish Social Workers Party and Republican Left with the aid of anarchists, communists, trade unionists, which appears to have won the 1936 elections. Illustrating the heavily divided Spanish political landscape, the Popular Front's lead in the popular vote seems to be far more narrow than the comfortable lead in seats would indicate. Whichever new government will be formed under the leadership of President Manuel Azaña in the days and weeks ahead, it will have to deal with an increasingly alienated and hostile political right. Rather than solve the political violence and societal unrest that grips our country, it therefore seems likely that the recent election's results will only serve to exacerbate it. So now we get all these decisions in which we must be careful about what we do. Because right now, the nationalists want Cordoba. Which I don't want them to have Cordoba. We have full control over it right now. We have full control over a lot of this stuff, actually. Well, some of this stuff. Let's let 
go by day. And I'm going to immediately go ahead. Ooh, military plot sounds good. If I do this, we get more political power and stability for a little bit longer. These cost the same amount. Sway they, they're going with Sway Leader Loyalty. Hand over the campaign chest. Uh, we only have 30 political power. Let's go do this one just because we get more political power. For at least a little bit, which is good. And they I think they have to fight my strikes. So, Frankly, I don't want to lose Cordoba. I'd rather lose Seville than Cordoba because I'd rather not get encircled. But we'll see what happens. Hmm. We shall see what happens. And the military plot. Once that ends, then it's game game on then, basically. Uh, and they've taken it. I don't want to lose that. I do not. Military plot. Leader loyalty. I want to make... Ooh, imprison Primo de Rivera. We get stability, political power, lengthen the time of the plot, and prevents further inflammatory speeches by Primo. That's important. We're doing this stuff because we want to... The, the sooner we go to war, the worse it will be for us. So we don't want that. We want to drag it out as long as we possibly can. Uh, influence challenged. Oh, now we got to spend more political power for this. Now they're doing negotiate Carla support. All right. Give me just one more. Good. And then we'll get a little bit more political power, which will be great. Now here with our stuff, I don't want to do. I don't want to research any doctrine. Because I don't want to support my enemies by doing that. We'll say that, probably. Yeah, I don't want to support my enemies. I, to be honest with you, with this recording, I don't really know which way is the best, best way to do stuff. I'm pretty inexperienced, we'll say, with some of this stuff. And they're immediately going again with this. Oh, they really want Cordoba. I do not want them to get Cordoba, though. So, you guys should call the support. So, wait, their stuff. And we have some bad national spirits, Carlism, which we don't like. Uh, military, d military disloyalty, so we can't train units, disband, edit them. We have less stability, we can't even assign ministers or laws. And we have national strikes, which does help us with our political power just a little bit for now. So my main goal is to keep as many places under me as possible. Concessions to the left is okay, but we want to keep these going on as long as possible. So train the Union youth. Rumblings of disloyalty emanate from the military, and we must be prepared for the worst. We will provide crash courses in the use of weapons and basic military tactics to the dedicated and committed portions of our younger supporters, so that they may be armed at a moment's notice should the worst happen. Good, and we get some more divisions, which is really, really important. Come on, give me more political power. Uh, actually, if I do this stuff, this doesn't re extend the amount of time for the military power. We want to extend this as much as possible. Now, I could spend money there. I think... I'm going to go ahead and do more concessions. I'll give up a little bit of Cordoba for now. Because I really, really, really want to make sure that we'll be okay uh, with extending the time needed. I think though it says we have a lot of divisions right now, that's going to change. We're definitely going to get more tiles. I wish I would focus more on Seville, because I don't want to guard Seville if we're going to lose Cordoba. And they're continuing to do Cordoba, which isn't good. Hmm. Oh, he's doing his. Oh, he's doing a speech. Well, that ain't good. Oh, got negative political power. That's really not good. Oof. And I could do um, intelligence stuff, but I don't think that's really important. Suppress. Oh, they're doing suppressive strikes. Which is good. Challenge in that region, which is good. Oh, they finished that area. That's not good. Yeah, I definitely want to keep Cordoba under us. Secured leader of loyalty. Uh, if they get that tile and this tile, that's not bad. Uh, I really don't like this. Hmm. Should I keep this? Should I not? Because they're doing this again. Well, let's do it again. Screw it. We'll do it. Oh, I can imprison them. I'm going to do that so we get even more days. We get some political power, too. That, that'll be important. Um, what do we want to choose? I don't want to do support equipment because that could help our enemies. I don't want to do this because it could help our enemies. I could just go ahead and do mass assault for them. Let's get some fighters. They're suppressive strikes, which is not good. They're doing a oh come on, they're doing a political assassination. That's not cool, man. Let's go ahead and do that. So we get stability, a little bit more political power, so we can immediately do some more stuff. Yeah, we're probably gonna lose this. Yeah, probably. We're gonna lose that. Lose Cordoba, which really makes us really ugly. 
train the Union youth, but the most important thing is to delay the war as fast as possible. So enlarge the weapon caches. Ever since, even before the 1934 Asturias minor strike, weapon caches have been covertly established throughout the country in preparation for the inevitable need to defend our liberties with military arms. In these times of crisis, we would do well to enlarge them even further. Con Paquito. Huh? Oh, Francisco Franco gets political sympathies. We would like to do that, but whatever. Hmm. I don't really don't like that. Twenty-seven. Oh, we could do. Th oh, I could do that. The decision is currently in progress. You know what? We're going to continue contesting this. Oh, they're contesting Seville. Oh goodness! If we could keep this, and then. Have Cordoba and Seville fall a little bit. That could be a really good encirclement, actually. That could be really, really good. Come on. Good. Awesome. I can make a political arrest, which is actually cheap. Really cheap for us. And extends the days, which is what I'm going to do. And this gives me more time to secure this territory. Because we lost Cordoba. But we're not getting that back. We have Seville for now. And we are running out of stability, which does hurt our ability to create more and more political power. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. And I know we're spending a lot of time in the decisions tab, but this is pretty much where we're going to spend all of our time whenever we play Spain. So, um, let me see, double check. How is our stockpile of stuff? Because we want to make sure we got enough guns and support equipment. Ooh, games. I could challenge them here. Let's see, in 13 days. How much? Oh, I get 1.17. That's not bad. Concessions to the left. I want to do that too. 13 days. And 13 days. That's about two weeks of political power. So that's all about. I might have enough. Let's do that. I don't want to lose Seville too much. That's fully ours though. That's really good. All right. So we sh might not have enough. To do another one of these. Oh, that, that might not have been a good idea for me to do that. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, okay, good. So we're going to immediately go ahead and arrest. Because that's pretty cheap. And that might extend this just a little bit longer. There's a trying to suppress the strikes. That's good. And larger weapon caches. Awesome. Distribute arms to the people. Disloyalty in the military is now all but certain. And it is clear we cannot rely on them to defend the values of the Republic. We should begin disseminating arms to those who carry the best interests of the Republic at heart, so that they may form the best and the first defense against a possible rebellion. We get 10 more divisions with... that aren't great. Oh, holy cow, 45 political power, the entire map lit up. Holy cow. Um, I can challenge stuff over... Oh my goodness, I could challenge stuff around here. Oh, if I could challenge Seville some more? So the Cordoba's completely encircled? Yeah. Yeah. Now I could, because... Every single time we have, we get this territory up here. Oh, if you're here, might have been good, better to do so we could connect them, but there's a reason why I have my navy up here, which I'll show you in a little bit once the Civil War spawns. Uh, they're doing Seville. Yeah, they're doing that. I'm doing, I did the same thing, so we shouldn't lose it. But then, then again, yeah, there we go. 30. Mm. Go ahead and do it. Contest them again. Um, well, to contest them, contest me. So we're, we're pretty close on divisions. They have a little bit more than me right now. Once, if the Civil War would spawn, like, right now. Which isn't good. 48 days. I need a, just a little bit more time before uh, that goes off. So, 25 days. Remove 25 days. Add 37 days. Ooh. 42, 78. Good. Good, good. Mechanical computing. Get some better reinforce rate. Next up, what we want to do... Oh, they're doing Seville again. We, I need to do this. I can sacrifice Seville a little bit. Concessions to the left. That definitely hurts uh, the Nationalists. Ooh, we're doing actually... Okay, it's already October 6th, 1936. Um, in time, I'm going to need some fuel storage. I don't know. We'll do that, because why not? We're gonna. Now they're trying to suppress the strikes. That's good. Oh, look at our stability. Who needed that? Oof. Oh, baby. So, that turns into 40, 44 days... 27 days. 41. We'll get at least distribute arms to the people. At least that. 55. 
Yeah, I definitely do more stuff up here. Good, we got more political power. That's good. I could spend it over here, but it's coming increasingly close. Oh, boy. Suppressive strikes. Oh, they're going to influence again, and I'll completely lose that. We have this, which isn't bad. So, let's take a look. So, when they do this, or this, this adds 25 days. That's add 37, so we get 12 more days to this. So, it's 38 days that we're really looking at. 38 days, minus 10 is 28 days. I can't do disband the army. Ah, I papilla. Oh, I want to I wanna risk it, though. I'm going to risk it. Because that, I hate that. That's not good. I want, if we can do a political arrest, that could be extremely good. Distribute arms, good. Disband the army. So, we can no longer ignore the signs of disloyalty in the military, even if it may spark the plotters into action. We have no choice but to attempt to disband the army with immediate effect and seize the initiative. And actually doing that will reduce the proportion of the army that will side with the nationalists from 50% to 20%, which is extremely good. So I'm risking to do this. Oh, we can't do that. Dang it. Um, concessions to the left. This might be okay to do. We're going to do it anyways. I'm going to sacrifice Seville to see if we can do this okay. We've lost Seville. 50 days. Oh, God. No. 24. Oh, I sacrificed it for no reason. Uh, is there anywhere else I can influence before? Oh. Stuff here. Uh, tactical bombers. I don't think I can spend my political power on anything else. I lost Seville for no good reason then. Uh, why? Oh, suppress this. Suppress the strikes. Uh, oh, come on. Where is this garrison? Oh, it's up here? Oh, that's okay. That I don't really care about that. God dang it. We were so close to getting that last focus. That would have been an extremely good focus to do. And here we will go. And... Boom. So, at exactly 5 a.m. this morning. This looks not too bad, actually. Precisely one day after the contact was lost with the North African garrisons, a well-prepared military operation was launched all throughout Spain with the intention of gaining control of all government inst institutions and strategic locations in the major cities. Major parts of the Army, Navy, Air Force have ceased responding to government orders, while concurrently, Carlos militias have revolted in the north of the country. Complete success of this attempted coup has only been prevented by unofficial people's militias, who, through quick action, have managed to retain control of many of the targeted locations and cities. Despite this failure to meet their initiative, or their initial goals, however, it seems unlikely that the insurrection's leaders will give up their strong position as willingly as they did in 1932. With the other side appearing inclined to compromise, the path lies wide open for the current situation to escalate into a nationwide civil war. So, this is important. So, if you want to play a dem democratic Spain, go with the top option. With the middle one, you become communist, socialist, you can become Stalinist, or you might be able to go on your own path. And the bottom one was communal revolutionary struggle which <clears throat> according to the thumbnails which we want ah regional defense of aragon beautiful and before we let time go on now this is going to be a problem we might be able to sneak our way through here but that doesn't sound like fun what i want to do is gather everyone up together and we have uh, 58 divisions this is better than i tried it before 38 you guys are six combat with so throw them back there you guys are 12, and then you guys are 6. So, I'm going to keep you guys separated. Split you in half. Oh, this is actually... I oh, you can do that under him. Now, this isn't good. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of divisions down here. That's not going to be good. Ooh, and actually... Alright, that's not too bad. You know what? Two guys at the same time. I need you to do this. And I need you all to come here. And you know what? I will spread... Uh, take a handful of you guys. Come right there. There you go. That'll be good, because we need to spread them out and split them off. So, I don't like Republican loyalties. Republican. Or Stalinist. So, Eduardo, hello there. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, get more attack. You guys... Lina. Ah, sweet Lina. Oh, he's an anti-Stalinist loyalist, Janos, and then Capriano, Capriano, and we want to make sure we make some stuff, so do that, do that. This division is not bad, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Give me one thing of artillery on them, then. Infantry equipment's looking okay. We definitely need more of everything else, though. 
and we're gonna need some steel. Definitely gonna need some steel. Building more military factories. Train three of these guys because they're gonna be extremely important. Um, brigade infantry. Okay then. So next up, so everyone has orders, right? So that's why I sell my ships here, which is right here. Oh, and actually, you know what? Let's start doing some intelligence stuff. That could probably help. So we're gonna call this the Spanish Workers Intelligence Agency. S W or S Wea. Um, that looks too Republican. That no step on Snick. I would like to do the line of Leon, but Leon is over here, so I'm just gonna go with a tower. Good. Costs a little bit. That's okay though. And finally, ships. Escorts. Because I don't need these guys to get out safely. Unless I can break through here. No, maybe we'll try that. Ah, just spend the army is done. Now, oh, oh, we can zoom out too on our focus tree, which is cool. So we're going to arm the people. So, a national army can easily be used as a way for the government to maintain control over its populace and so is no recourse for communal defense. It is the people themselves who must be given the arms with which to defend their communities. Ooh, volunteers. I love volunteers. All right, let's see what happens. Um, you guys down here, I just want my guys to get organized real quick. Because this is going to be a giant mess. Uh, all right. That wasn't a bad idea. Oh, where are you? Who are you? Just get organized. Go where you need to be. Yeah. Just... There we go. Leave, leave, leave. Ah, Civil War Frontline solidifies. So, with only a week of fighting behind us, it is already becoming apparent that the Spanish countryside is not well suited for the transport of large quantities of equipment. Difficulties in keeping our front line and offensive supplied are cropping up, and will only get worse if we continue the attempt to fight everyone at once. Oh, goodness. So, now we can do concessions, of course, but, uh, which makes, means nothing. We will now know if enemies try to assault us in certain locations, and we'll do the same thing to them. So, that'll be important to know. Oh, we have a government crackdown coming, so... <clears throat> some people called anarchists... Uh, we will get a little rebellious here. If we can do that, that would be great. I want to destroy as many enemy divisions as possible. Do not stay there. Go to Malaga. Is there anywhere I can go on the front line? That'd be okay to do. You know what? You guys come here. You guys just come up there. You guys shore up the front line just a little bit. You guys attack. You guys are looking okay. That's fine with me. Good. Oh, actually, fuel storage. You know what? Come down here. If we can make an encirclement, I will gladly welcome it. Take Cordoba. Now we get to choose a land doctrine. I'm going to go with superior firepower. I was thinking about doing mass assault, but I want to see how much of a nerf this uh, land doctrine has gotten. Okay, keep them occupied. I'm not worried about the north. The north is pretty good. Even that division made it out, so that's pretty good. Ah, Soviets are here to help. Right. Nothing can ever go wrong when Soviets are here to help. You know what? Come this way. And they're going to be traveling all around the time, town, so... If you can uh, destroy some convoys, like stuff that's going to Seville, try it. Oh, I'm going to lose my ships, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to lose my ships. Go ahead and tell everyone to go home. Um... Yeah, that, I mean, that was a bad idea. That was probably a bad Yeah, that was a bad idea. That was a terrible idea. I lost my ships. Oh, well. Hey, I made an encirclement. That's all that matters, though, right? And we're out of fuel anyways. Who cares? All right, you guys come up there. Encircle these three divisions. Keep them occupied. That's all that matters right now. Keep them occupied. Good. Come on, Soviets. Get in the fray. We need you there. Um, You guys can't win. That's okay. Hold for now. The main goal is to hold, hold, hold. Be bold and whole. Ah, Spanish Workers Intelligence Agency. And we have our operator, 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 operative working here in about a month. Good. Just in time for the Civil War and kill off these three divisions, please. Thank you. Hmm. Could you relieve this division just by a little bit? Oh, they're going to get pushed back. I need more divisions. Holy crud. Come on, kill them off, kill them off. Oh, do not let them come down here. Do not, do not, do not, do not. Come on, hurry up, you stupid divisions. Why are you taking so long? I'll give me more attack. Give me more attack. Oh, good. You made it there. God dang it. Ah, oh, come on. 
That's garbage. That's straight up garbage. Do not let them come here. You stupid divisions. Hurry the heck up. Come on. Uh, I don't want you led by any one of those guys, so. Unfortunate to know. Radio. Let's get some support equipment for more breakthrough and defense. That's important. Oh god, dang it. I lost this Malaga. That's really bad. That's okay. Can you come here, please? Come on. Good. Leave, 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 leave. You're almost gone. Oh my god. How... What do these guys have on them? They're just infantry. They're not that strong. And again, my divisions aren't strong either. The north will be okay. I'm confident in the north. The south? I'm a little worried about. Arm the people. Good. That helps us out with more attack. Let's get international brigades next. Our cause has attracted much international attention, and people have come from all over the world to fight the fascist threat with us. No one will be turned away as long as they do their part for the health of the community. We will organize them into international brigades. Ooh, we have our operative. Nice. Demolition expert. Targeted sabotage efficiency. Sabotage costs. Benito. Alfonso. Hello, Mama Valeria. Hello there. And she's going to probably do some default stuff. Did that division die? No, it did not. Good. Hurry. Oh my god. How long does this take to kill? Oh, we don't have air support. That's why. That's why. Teach him a lesson. Go, my planes, go. Get some more ground crews, too. That'll help out. So right here, just hold. Hold for now. Yeah. You guys are doing okay down here. Oh my god, you guys came to help me, but you're not really doing anything. Seriously? Seriously, man? Go ahead and hold. You don't need to attack. You don't need to attack. Let them attack you. Don't let them take that. That's not too bad, actually. That's not looking too bad, but we gotta be careful of this impending government crackdown. Let's let our guys move around. We've lost about a thousand versus their four thousand. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, and some of our guys are finally arriving. Thank God that they had to go all around Africa just to get here. Crazy. Nuts. International Brigades, we get more weekly manpower. Now let's grab, appropriate the means of production. Gone are the days when we work for the wealthy. Gone are the days when our labor went unrewarded. We shall seize the factories and the workshops and the farms and the stores, eliminating class and putting the worker in charge of their own destiny. Ah, beautiful. Go and start smashing these guys. They want to smash us here, so be it. We'll give them some more defense. Ah, oh, they're trying to plan an attack here, that's why. Anywhere, oh, anywhere else. Oh, wow, you're still trying to attack you? Yeah, it's a bad idea, guys. It's a bad idea. Let them wail against our lines for now. This is the most important thing that we can focus on right now. So, everyone come to here. Kind of hang out for now. We might try to bomb stuff in here, but it probably won't really matter. Um, good. You know what? I'm going to move you down here so that you can come over here. What the hell? Seriously? Alright, well, so be it. So be it. Granada? Yeah, keep trying. Oh. Why are you attacking? Oh, we can't even win here. Our division. These divisions are so bad. Holy cow. Good. Alright, Soviets. Yeah, you, you don't have to defend Valencia. It's, it's an okay place. You don't have to, you know, stay there. I think it's more into war artillery. That'd be good. Uh, how are our supplies of stuff? We're doing really well in supplies, actually. Ah, more divisions. Great. Great. You guys are okay. Throw you back here. I'm going to increase the size of this group because I really want to finish this area down south. That's incredibly important for us to do. Are we still... You know what? They want to attack, so be it. I don't care. Can we do something like that? That would be fun. Come on. Ah, uh, they caught me. Darn. Attack here. Give them more attack. You come down here, actually. And do that. And you attack that way. Give them more force attack. I want to at least encircle one enemy division. That would be great. Um, They want to spread their line out, which is fine with me. You guys come down here. They don't want to you know, guard the line, so be it. 
Help him out here. You should be able to do okay-ish here. You know what? Screw that. You come down here. The line up north is looking okay-ish. Not bad. China's United Front forms. China's not having a good time. Hindenburg disaster. Not the bueno for some people. That's okay. Let them think they, they can have easy access into our lands. We have lost 3,000 versus their 6,000. Trying to... How the hell are we not winning here? So many divisions are here. Holy crud. Stop moving. Just reform the front line. That's all that matters right now. Reform the front line. You guys move this way. You guys move up here. And then you guys move over here. Good. Oh, we got, we're fighting enemy tanks. That's not good. Alright, you still want to attack me here. So be it. So be it. How's the north doing? We might be able to push more... Portugal. Why are you supporting these nationalists? Why? Um, next up... How do we do stuff here? Motorized would be important. I do want to get tanks eventually, though. Engineering. It's 1937, which I've kind of not been cognizant of. But yeah, they want to attack. You know, so be it. So be it. Ah, appropriate the means of production. Very nice. Shared burdens. Autogestion. The maximum concession is important. In the spirit of fighting fascism, we've made the greatest concession possible. Cooperation with the capitalists and authoritarian communists. This concession is as far as we're willing to go, and it cannot last forever. We shall make the most of it while it does. Less war support, more division attack defense, and help delay the impending government crackdown for a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, I can't do anything against tanks. Okay, so this is really buggy or something. Then again, this is a paradox game. Why aren't you doing anything? I'm fighting Portuguese soldiers, of course, the nationalists, Spanish, French, not French, Germans, Italians. This is honestly a little ridiculous. So, like, seriously, guys, come on. This is a bit too much if the Soviets choose to do nothing. And I'm sure they have a few other divisions elsewhere, but they're just kind of sitting there as our soldiers are getting attacked. Ooh, superior firepower, though. Great, let's get some delay for more organization. That'll come in handy. That will absolutely come in handy. Good, come over here. Good. Ah, the tanks. If you can move in now, I would really enjoy it. Really? All right, well, if you want to leave, I mean, you want to leave, whatever. Give our guy a little bit more time to get over there and stop. Just try to grind out their manpower and stuff like that. 41, 30. Good. Oh, did they break through here? That's not good. All right, well, if you want to try to break through me, I will try to break through to you. And we're fighting in mountains. Yeah, not a good idea. Ah, oh, the maximum concession. Good. Uh, Agarian collectivization. So... We could seize gold reserves. But collectivized organization of our agriculture will ensure that all who live in the communes have the food they require, rather than sell the harvest where they make the most profit. Absolutely. Good. Attack me here, guys. Good. Amelia Earhart dis disappears. We're losing this just a little bit. Oh, my goodness. If you can move in there, that'd be awesome. The tanks. The tanks are just so strong. I can't even push into here, which really sucks. Huh. Keep defending for now. You're getting attacked. But the national supplies don't look that good. Martyrdom for Primo de Rivera. Oh, Unify. Huh. Because I know Carlos can rise up for them. Oh, here's something we must do. Ooh, maximum concession, nice. Uh, leftist Freemason? Silent Workhouse is nice, but what we want is... Ooh, Artillery Expert. I like that. Infantry, Screens. There's someone here that I know I really want. Army Morale's okay. How do we get a guy with more attack and defense for our infantry? What's it? I don't think it's a political advisor. No. Theorist is okay. Artillery is okay. I want this guy. Demand... Ministerial positions, communist in government, screens. Oh, this is what this guy wants. Masters of our own fate, which I want to save my political power for just a little bit because our concessions will be up in a hundred days, so we can spend a little bit of political power. Hopefully, not too much. War bonds would be okay. Anti-communist raids. Ah, uh, just go with war economy. Screw it. Good. Yeah, this is going to turn into a little bit of a difficult situation. But, unfortunately, that's all the time for that we have today, my friends. 
we have done the best we can against these corrupt authoritarians. But tomorrow, we will get even snarkier with these authoritarians. And you know what? Maybe even rebel ourselves. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching today's episode. If you liked it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we have a great time together. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.